Vegan Italian food. Yep, it's a thing, and today we're checking out some new spots serving it up. Our first stop is at Galliotto's on Mulberry Street. Nemo, what's the experience here at Galliotto's? So we wanted to bring back the old school feel of Mulberry Street, which it was in the 1920s. Each space was unique. Each space was a grab-and-go takeout concept, kind of like a market. We saw everything from produce to pantry Italian specialty items to pre-made sandwiches, pre-made pastas, different vegetables, anything that you could grab and go. You own quite a few restaurants, you worked in nightclubs, so you know your way around New York. Why would you say that this place is special? Because uh, I know the neighborhood. I grew up here and I kind of see the void and what it needs. And as a, as not an owner, just a customer walking out of my apartment and seeing like what it's, what it's lacking, you know? We are the only uh, Italian plant-based delicatessen in New York City. That is really cool. Yeah. So I'm very excited to try okay. some of this stuff yeah. here. I think when you're, uh, when you're plant-based, you, uh, you miss some of the nostalgic Italian items that you remember as a kid. So one of our favorites is the rainbow cookies. They're amazing. You can't tell that they're vegan. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Dang. We have the pistachio pesto bow tie uh, pasta. We have the kale and farro uh, salad, the creamy Italian rigatoni. And our most popular is the impossible meatball sub. That's really good. And I can't tell. Yeah. You're right. Great coffee, delicious yeah. food, and it's kind of good for me, right? Yeah. Well, congratulations on the opening during a difficult time. Thank I can't you. wait to come back. All right, John, in a city full of amazing pizza, tell me about Zazie's. There's many different types of amazing pizza, let me just say that. But the two main ones for me was your traditional New York pie by the slice and your sit-down Neapolitan pie, which are pretty different types of pizza, but we've created an actual hybrid where the dough is part Neapolitan in its airiness, its char, its flavor, its taste, but yet it still holds up as a New York slice with no flop and has that quality where you can serve it by the slice. So nobody really has our type of pizza. And you also decided to offer some vegan and plant-based options. Why did yeah. you do that? So your traditional corner pizzeria would have, you know, mozzarella sticks, buffalo wings, some kind of terrible pasta. <laughs> and the truth is, people don't really want to eat that food anymore. People are looking to also be more health conscious. So we have vegan mozzarella sticks, meatless meatballs, hearts of palm fried calamari, buffalo cauliflower wings. Very tasty. Very good. I feel like this pizza never ends, it's delicious. <laughs> yeah. Oh look, no flop. No flop on a vegan pizza, very difficult to find. Well, I have like this much more room left because we're having dessert. Great, I have this much dessert coming out. <laughs> Great. This is a don't look at me while I'm eating this dessert. This is our Nutella Panzerati with a homemade ricotta cheese on top and some powdered sugar. He said this is don't look at me food, so. Is it all over my face? Cool, I mean. It's worth getting messy. Well, you've certainly given us a lot to taste and many reasons to come back. So thank you very much. Thanks for coming.